Bigfoot has been the mainstay of many a cryptid hunter. The superstar cryptid does however have a number of cousins. We have looked at a few of these in the videos Batsquatch and the Almus. I have found a cryptid with the same name that tops the hairy man of the forest. An eight-legged man-eating beast seen on the battlefields of World War II and in the forests of the US and Spain. This mystery beast is known as the Squid Squatch. Let's take a look. Welcome to IF, videos on history and mystery. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video again. In another video, I talk about the flying jellyfish that were featured on the website Mysterious Universe. That article also told of another creature of the seas that has been reported stalking the land. Octopi These eight-legged aliens of the deep are strange enough. They have been the focus of a lot of research of late even with some scientists claiming that they could have come to this planet from outer space. These creatures are truly amazing and some have said they could possibly be the next creature to evolve into a higher form of intelligence and make the move to land. Cephalopods, especially octopuses, are regarded as the most intelligent of all non-vertebrate animals. They have the highest brain to body ratio. One study has suggested they are even capable of observational learning. They have been seen assembling discarded coconut shells and using them to construct a shelter as well as solving puzzles and opening containers. This move to land may have already occurred with reports of terrifying octopod beasts seen on the battlefields of World War II. The article gives us a report from the Battle of Okinawa. The 82 day long battle was the stepping off point for the eventual invasion of Japan by the Allied forces. The fight was particularly brutal with heavy losses on both sides. It was in this carnage that the Japanese troops reported seeing something which they found hard to believe. Those that survived firefights against American troops looked out onto the battlefield seeing what looked like a number of large octopuses picking over the bodies. These men said the animals walked through the battleground holding their bodies off the ground with their tentacles. Periodically they would pull their legs together forming an eight-legged support to raise themselves higher as to get a wider view of the area. Maybe they did this to find their next meal as it was said that these giant eight-legged monsters feasted upon the dead combatants. This was not the only sighting of such creatures. Back in the early 60s, Archimedes Sanchez, a truck driver in Spain, was making his way along a mountain road in the Basque region. It was around 11 p.m. in the evening that he rounded a bend and there standing on the roadside bank, his headlamps illuminated a bizarre sight. The man saw a hairy octopus. The animal was about four feet in height. It had glowing eyes and the distinct cephalopod tentacle-like arms. After a few moments of the man and beast staring at one another, the man decided to act. He hit the gas and sped toward the octosquatch. The animal avoided the vehicle and ran off into the roadside woods as fast as its eight legs could carry it. I think the octopus creature was rather lucky. These men may have thought their luck was in and that they would spend their evening feasting on calamari. On a more serious note, what fascinates me is that the scientist who proposed that these cephalopods would be the next creature to evolve a high intelligence also said that the animals would most likely take to the trees. Their eight limbs would make moving through the tree canopy the fastest and most efficient method of locomotion. Could the octopus these men saw have come down from the trees? Could there be more creatures hiding up amongst the branches? A more recent sighting did occur in December of 2014. A report submitted to MUFON tells of a strange interaction which occurred on the outskirts of a sleepy town known as Carmel near Ohio. A creature that was said to be seven feet tall with bendable tentacle-like legs and possessing a large long tubular body was seen. The witness would seem to be credible being a former marine. He told of how the animal ran from the woods and was almost hit by his car. Once again an association with wooded areas. Maybe the octopi from Okinawa were also in the trees, only coming down when the opportunity of feasting on the dead men presented itself. In the report, 
The former serviceman describes the creature as being dull, sickly, grey in colour and looking like some sort of walking squid. The local newspaper ran with the story and this created a lot of speculation as to what it might be. One popular idea was that this was merely a misidentified deer that had just happened to be witnessed in a strange bipedal pose. A deer walking from the cover of forest on its hind legs and out into the path of an oncoming car? This sounds more far-fetched than a land-living octopus to me. Maybe these creatures are a more evolved form of octopus or maybe they are a new arrival from another world. Again, this fits with the proposed ideas of octopi being extraterrestrial creatures. This idea claims that octopuses are in fact aliens. They originally evolved to life on another planet, then arriving on Earth hundreds of millions of years ago as cryopreserved eggs. This idea is reliant on panspermia, a topic we have covered in a couple of other videos here on the channel. Check the links above. This claim of the eight-legged beast coming from outside of our solar system was made in a report entitled Cause of the Cambrian Explosion terrestrial or cosmic. This paper gave the theory that an explanation for the sudden explosion of life during the Cambrian period can be found in the stars. The author proposes that during this era the earth was bombarded by clouds of organic molecules. These clouds are what carried the octopuses to this planet. There is more solid evidence to back up this theory. The paper states the genome of the octopus shows a staggering level of complexity with 33,000 protein coding genes more than is present in Homo sapiens. They possess a large brain and sophisticated nervous system, camera-like eyes, flexible body, instantaneous camouflage via their ability to switch color and shape, these traits being just a few of the striking features that appear suddenly on the evolutionary scene. The transformative genes leading from the consensus ancestral nautilus to the common cuttlefish to squid are not easily found in any pre-existing life form. It is plausible then to suggest that they seem to be borrowed from a far distant future in terms of terrestrial evolution or more realistically from the cosmos at large. One plausible explanation being that the new genes are likely new extraterrestrial imports to earth, most plausibly as an already coherent group of functioning genes within cryopreserved and matrix protected fertilized octopus eggs. Thus the possibility that cryopreserved squid and or octopus eggs arrived in icy bodies several hundred million years ago should not be discounted as that would be a reasonable cosmic explanation for the octopus's sudden emergence on earth circa 270 million years ago. Could the Octosquatch also be a recent arrival coming to this planet in the same way? What do you think was seen by these witnesses? Do you think these creatures have made the leap to living on land or do they come from space? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like what I do here on the channel, hit that red button, like and share. You can catch the latest by searching we are if. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.